my name's Amina Jama. I'm a 19-year-old poet, and I'm currently at the Queen's Gallery. The poem I'm going to be reading is called First Creation. It was loosely based on this portrait of two artists painting each other while one was sleeping and the other was working. First Creation. The first poem you ever wrote was in one sitting, in one tear. You've always found that art is as much for the culture as it is for the artist. You would sit sleeping while your friend painted you. Collaboration was the truest form of your friendship. The first poem you ever wrote was in a space of uncertainty. You tried to find beautiful ways of describing pain, to redefine violence, and sitting under stars, and running away from it all in just one line. Of being female, but not woman enough. Of being surrounded by men, of losing your marriage, of losing your body, and finding it months later stripped down in a painting on the wall. You knew you was a writer when you let your relationship with your brothers cloud your future. The first poem you ever wrote was in one sitting. You tried to channel those before you. The act of creating was the only choice that wasn't made for you. From passing out to feeling your insides shake, to having your weekend stole from you and scream until you woke, the act of writing was the first choice you ever made. A selfish act of self-promotion and contemplating your very own portrait. An act of therapy and meditation, getting lost in pen strokes and intention, willing yourself to write on days when the sun doesn't set on your sorrow. On days when notes drop like eyelashes to his cheek and crescendos fall and stay down wounded. These are the days when the rain seems to talk to you in Morse code and you will yourself to get out of bed and work through the pain. When the day comes that you can no longer create, you will pray that strength climbs on your back, igniting that spirit that you kept for these dry days. When the day comes when writing seems like a foreign language and a black curtain falls over your eyes like darkness, you will think back to that self-portrait, that selfish act of self-promotion and have it hung in a gallery for other artists to write about you instead.